My name is Martin Brown. I'm the chairman of Tees Cottage Pumping Station. I've been the chairman for about 15 months. I first came here in uh, April 2018, so that's six years ago. I recently retired and I was looking for something else to do, something that gave my new life a bit of, a bit of organisation, a bit of structure. And I, I came down here and uh, was greeted by a set of people, none of whom I'd ever met before, all from different backgrounds. So it was really quite a, quite a good experience. Okay, yeah, the aim, the aim of the Preservation Society is, is many things, but the primary aim is to um, keep the beam engine, the boilers, the gas engine, and all the equipment we've got here, the, the smithy, going for future generations. I think that's our principal, principal purpose, is that future generations can see the, the work, the design, the development of these wonderful engines and that's what we maintain them for that, for that reason. The thing special about Tees Cottage is that it's, it's very much a, a, a team. None of us are paid, we're all volunteers. We come along, we discuss things. It, it's just a nice place, a nice place to come. It's respected by many people outside of the, uh, outside of the actual uh, volunteers, outside of the team, team here. And it, it's seen as a pleasant place to come to, which is, um, is uh, supported by the number of school visits that we have, the number of visits by people from all sorts of places all around the world, to be honest. So I think it's that respect that, we, that we've gained over the, the many years, the 40 odd years that uh, the, uh, the volunteering organisation has been open, that, that, that keeps, us, keeps us coming. Yeah, so school, school trips are really important to us. Not only is it a way of passing on our our, uh, our site, our information to the site, to the, to, to the kids, uh, but it also introduces their parents to the association, to the, to the setup, many of whom will come on uh, subsequent open days, so that adds money to our coffers and also increases our, our potential audience. Last year, for example, we had um, visits from Mountain Primary School, Year 5 group, I brought um, 60 kids on a uh, Wednesday between 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. We have four different um, four different activities for them to perform, three of them provided by us, and the fourth one provided by Tees River, Tees River Trust. So that's quite a nice relationship we have with Tees River Trust as well. The kids love their sampling of the river life and description of what they can see, so that's really good. Uh, a couple of weeks after that one in June, we had St Mary's Church from Cockerton. Here they brought 90 kids, which was a bit of a challenge to have 90 year, year five. I think they were year five and year six this time. But that all went very well as well. And the head teacher from that school um, said that she'd been going to uh, visits with the school for many years. And this was the best best uh, school that she ever had by, by far. So that was quite a, quite a nice thing to do message to volunteers is maintain the good team spirit that we've got we've got now help each other don't get locked away into particularly small areas we all work together we appreciate we appreciate what to do but bear in mind as well that we're all just volunteers none of us are getting getting paid so we're doing this for our for our spare time much appreciate that all the volunteers are, are putting the effort in from there in their spare time and I hope that they, they enjoy it because if they don't enjoy it they won't come again and we rely on the, the volunteers to keep this place ticking away.